Check out today's tutorial. Easy Crochet Mesh Shorts. Stay tuned if you want to add a little special spice to your beach shorts with a little versatility. Here's what you'll need. Bernat Maker Home Deck Yarn and Gold, a 6.50 millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle, and scissors. Chain 68 for a small. This pattern is done in multiples of four. You can start with 68 chains, 72, 76, 80, 84, etc. Just decide how many chains you need to start with for the perfect fit. Once we've completed 68 chains, slip stitch to the first chain to join. Round one, chain three, then treble crochet into each chain around. Oops. Continue to treble crochet into each chain around. Once you reach the end of round one, then slip stitch into the beginning chain three space. Then start round two, chain four, and treble crochet into the next treble crochet. Now chain four again, skip the next three treble crochet, one, two, three, and treble crochet into the next treble crochet. Repeat this pattern around, chain four, skip the next three treble crochet, and treble crochet into the next treble crochet. Uh-oh, just continue on until we reach the end of round two. Once we've reached the end, chain four, skip the last three treble crochet, and slip stitch into the beginning chain four space. Now for round three, chain four again, and treble crochet into the next treble crochet. Now chain four, skip the next four chains and treble crochet into the next treble crochet. Continue to repeat this pattern around, chain four, skip those four chains, and treble crochet into the next treble crochet. Nothing exciting is going to happen, we're going to continue on with this exact same pattern.
once we've reached the end, chain four, skip the last four chains and slip stitch into the beginning chain four space. No excitement for now, just continue to repeat the same pattern for rounds four through six. Chain four, skip the four chains and treble crochet into the next treble crochet. Look forward to a little excitement in round seven. For round seven, we're going to repeat the pattern seven times as opposed to all the way around. Then we'll chain five and place a stitch marker in the third chain of those five chains. This will come in handy for round eight. Now, continue our usual pattern around until we reach the end of round seven. Treble crochet, chain four, skip those four chains and treble crochet into the next treble crochet. Once we reach the end of round seven, we chain four, and slip stitch into the beginning chain four space. Now for round eight, let's chain six, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to slip stitch into the chain that has the stitch marker. This is the separation for leg one and leg two. First, we're gonna start on leg one. Round eight. Chain two. And single crochet in each chain and treble crochet around. So that's a single crochet in a chain single crochet into the next chain and now we're single crocheting into the treble crochet and we'll repeat the same pattern around Once we reach the six chains that we use to separate the legs, we'll just single crochet into those. Now, slip stitch into the beginning chain two to join. Now, chain two and single crochet into each single crochet around. We're going to repeat this same pattern for rounds nine through eleven. And don't forget to slip stitch into the beginning chain two to join each round.
And here we are at the end of round 11. Slip stitch to join. And I like to add a little chain before I fasten off and pull through. That's it for leg one. Now we're gonna move on to leg two. But first we have to decide where we're gonna add the yarn for leg two. I figure a good place to start would be underneath where we chained six for the separation of leg one and leg two. So we're going to slip stitch to attach it underneath. Chain two, and then single crochet into each stitch around. Now slip stitch into the beginning chain two to join. On to leg two, round nine, chain two, single crochet into each single crochet around. We're gonna repeat this process for rounds nine through round 11, just like leg one. And once we reach the end of round 11, we'll slip stitch into the beginning chain two and chain and fasten off. Pull it through. And that's that. Now it's time for the last step of our easy crochet mesh shorts, the waist ties. How about if we use the tail from the very first row as our stitch marker? Let's slip stitch at the beginning of round one to attach. Then chain two and half double crochet in each treble crochet space around. I find it easier to go into the spaces. It creates a nice and relaxed fit. Once we make it all the way around, let's slip stitch into the beginning chain two to join. Then continue on to chain 130. Remember this number can easily be adjusted to your preference, more or less. Now slip stitch into the first half double crochet. Then we're going to chain 130 again.
Next, slip stitch into the next half double crochet. Add an extra chain, cut the yarn, and pull through to fasten off. And voila, we are just about done. All we have to do is to continue on with the tediousness of weaving in all the ends. But it has to be done, so let's do it. no more ends to weave now let's prepare to go ahead and weave the chains through the treble crochet row so that we can create a nice front tie lucky for you you can skip this step if you want and just lace the ties however you like around the waist around the arm the neck the head the yarn is really stretchy so it has a lot of give the possibilities are endless. And there you have it, the easy crochet mesh shorts, the perfect swim cover. However you choose to tie it is up to you, but it'll definitely be sassy. If you enjoyed this video and found it to be useful, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. And remember, click the notification bell so you'll know every time we post a new video. Thanks!